Sometimes, life stresses me out. It usually comes from my own inability to navigate my surroundings successfully. In these stressful moments, I'm generally trapped inside my own head. When this happens, I may decide to just get in the car and leave. Pack my whole family in the family car and just leave. That's the first step. At this point, I have not yet found peace of mind. At this point, I've had it up to my neck. I seek the company of those who came before me that maybe just being in their presence will help bring about my usual optimism. I go to familiar places from my childhood. I bring my children to these places. I observe their innocent ability to experience in a way that I once did. These places are almost always outdoors. Here, I can find other examples of life. Examples of life that will remind me that I'm not alone in my mentally manufactured plight. Sometimes, I feel like a tadpole, plucked from the water too soon. I haven't developed my lungs yet. I'm utterly useless out of my element. As I gasp for air, I can only hope that the tiny god who commands my fate will put me back so that I can finish growing. Though after I'm grown, I'm sure I'll encounter that tiny god again. I was over there and I was with Noah and we were throwing rocks and then I stood back and I saw this little guy. Ribbit. Sometimes I'm like a crayfish. I've grown a hard shell. A hard shell to protect my soft and delicate insides. I need this hard shell to protect myself. Protect me from whoever has me by the tail and is smiling behind my back while I struggle to figure out what the hell is going on. He doesn't dare get in front of my face because while my pinchers may be small, he wouldn't dare get within range for fear that the physical pain that these tiny pinchers will cause him. Just try it, buddy. I double dog dare you. Other times, I'm like a baby rattlesnake, coiled neatly in the grass generally confident that my natural camouflage will keep me from those who would seek to do me harm. If I'm found, I'm still confident that my powerful venom will command the respect of those who have found me. I'm happy to observe them cautiously as they observe me in return. We'll just play it cool until it's time to part ways. Don't get me wrong though, the whole experience was still very stressful. When I have found the inner peace I'm seeking, I'm most like this bullfrog, able to breathe just fine in or out of water, powerful enough to leave at a moment's notice to ensure my own survival, yet confident enough to not flail about, though I may be in imminent danger. Chill, cool, calm, collected, a straight G, respect. The gentle breeze blows through the trees. A calmness returns to my mind. Maybe one day I'll be more like a bird, able to gain the highest perspective with a few flaps of the wing, leaving the world and all its troubles below. Until then, I'll just get back on the road and keep moving forward. I hope you will too. Aloha.